Spacey Sims, and we are back with another part of Life is Strange, Episode 4, Dark Room. Uh, we are going to continue where we left off the last time, so, um, you know, we just got a little more insight into uh, Chloe and her accident, and Max and Chloe were watching a movie at the very end, so that is where we are uh, picking up this time afterwards, so it looks like... Looks like Max fell asleep in Chloe's room. Oh. So, yeah. And I'm assuming there would be, like, music, but there's nothing right now. Because <laughs> I have the music off, so. Yeah. <laughs> we also kind of learned that Max is a very, very different Max in this world. Up to this point, anyway. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. <clears throat> were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a <laughs> bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> It's nice to see they have the same relationship. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Oh, Brad. So we're gonna go wander around and find us some drugs. That sounds awesome. I'm assuming that all... Okay, whoa. There we go. I'm assuming this is all the Man, same. Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Okay, so this is all the same stuff I think we've already seen. I don't think anything's changed. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Okay. Yeah, so this is all the same. Nothing is different. Although... Let's see. There's definitely some uh, pictures that we can take, but I don't know what they might be. What's different in these? Anything? Oh my Same. god. I made oh. that mix for her when we were 12. Been there, done that. Yeah, nothing new. Can't open the window. Nope. Yeah, so everything's pretty much the same in here, so... I'm so glad we had our movie night. Even if you crashed on me. That's why they call it a sleepover. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? No way. Aww. I don't want you to feel weird. Why would we say kind of? is just so different than yours. I mean, we can't just bounce out of here and... I'll be doped up half the day in pain. So that's cool. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. Aww. So, what else do you need? Well, hot monkey sex would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. Oh my god, Chloe. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Not really. No. There are some cute boys there, but you know me. I'm too damn shy. Which is stupid, because you're so damn cool. Some bro has to be crushing on you. If she's right around journal. I was supposed to go out with this guy named Warren, but... I don't think he's into me anymore. His loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's right. I sound like my dad. What? What? That's okay if you sound like William. He really cares about you. He cares about everybody. Rub it in. I can't ever get mad at the fool. He does so much for me. Mm. I haven't done jack for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. 
So it's all good. Should we supposed to go get, a, get her? We're still supposed to go upstairs, I'm assuming, and get her. Uh, let's see something. I have to go upstairs and get Chloe's medicine. Okay, so it's still the same. We still only have one thing. Oh, we have new text messages though. More? No, we already read that. Oh, I thought it's a new. The, those are not new. We read all these the last time. We, we read these the last time. Don't forget to water the plant. Peace out. Why is it showing it to us like it's new? Uh, that's... Yeah, those are all the exact same text messages. So that's really... So why does it... Oh, now... Ah, uh, okay. Because the Chloe one. But no, that's not new either. Interesting. This thing is on crack. Uh, okay, but yeah. Alright, so we have to go... Alright, so... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Forgot my finger was on tab. Open the door. Look at the little smiley face in our door hanger. Could you see it? It's freaking adorable. Oh, I can't see it. Let's go wander a poke around in here. We're going to end up missing all the photos. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV. And they use our shitty tube television. Okay, now we got a new one from Victoria. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up. Okay, love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. Okie dokie. That is... Oh, no. Exit. I, you know. Trophy case. Aw, oh, he's bitching about the insurance. Oh my god, donut! Grab the donut! Grab the donut! Grab the donut! Right there. Get it. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Damn it, Max. Come on. This is a free donut. Car keys. Look at how what have happened. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Oh, wait. Ooh, wonderful. Yep. That's the same graffiti from before. That's the, the graffiti she drew when she came to this. Okay, we can't go outside. So we drew that. <laughs> woot woot. So I'm assuming if we didn't draw it, obviously there would be nothing there. So, cool. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Let's see. Uh, bill date, 30th of March. Oh my god! Almost $8,600. Holy crap. That's just basic supply? Oh my... Yikes. You can't afford to have morphine. <laughs> just kidding. Bonjour. That's great. They finally went to Paris. Just Damn, the bills never end. Oh, that means that she learned something that's helpful. Let's poke around in the kitchen. God, this makes me dizzy. This makes everybody else dizzy. I'm gonna make sure I hit everything, but holy crap. Look, what's this? No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Aww. Oh, great. Coupons? Choice is a food coupon, boss. She kind of has to be. The window. I don't like this alternate timeline. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Beached angels looking for the whales. What? Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of gray whales that inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, wait, where was I? Oh, oh any pollution. Meanwhile, ecologists, ecologists, ec good lord, I can't talk today, whatever. Uh, and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales and environment. Ugh, I keep losing my place when I'm reading. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Continue to the next page. 
Rachel Amber is even missing oh. in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Search for popular teen continues. Blackwell honor student Rachel Amber has not been seen for over six months. Uh, yet her family and friends have only intensified the search for the 18-year-old Arcadia Bay resident. Police and FBI have few leads and little information in the case, which has caught the interest of national reality show Where Did They Go? Uh, the Amber family has offered... I don't know why when I read that I was like, what? Okay. I forgot that was her last name. <laughs> her name's Rachel. Uh, the Amber family has offered a reward for any information leading to the whereabouts of their daughter. For more details, please contact help at findrachelamber.org. Or it's or. Or H. It's not org in here. That's kind of funny. Um, Alright, so that's sad. I definitely so, have to take a third job. Oh my god, that's so sad. Look. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. Oh my god. That's terrible. Dear Mr. Price, this letter is to notify you that you are in default of your payment obligations on your home loan account, number 783. This current account holds the amount of 12000 payable by August 1st, 2013. Oh my god. This amount has been overdue since March 1st, 2009. They've been overdue on their payments for like four years, and you have ignored multiple requests to make a payment, or, or uh, oh, 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 yeah, you have ignored multiple requests to make a payment, or reconsolidate your debt, or reconsolidate your debt. Well, duh. Uh, unless the full amount of twelve thousand is received within fifteen days, oh snap. We must begin the foreclosure process on your home. We have given you more than adequate notice on the issue. And we have no other options left. Wow. Man, though, I mean, they haven't been making payments for years. It's kind of hey, sad. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good, Such or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. It's also so what's weird. On your mind? Um, care room, Chloe, Joyce, what's next? Let's see. Paris trip. Ah. Oh. So you finally made it to Paris. We, mm -hmm. oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, <laughs> especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. Oh. It's not fair, Max. Why don't you rewind, Max? Stop her from getting into an accident. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. It's kind of your fault. Me too. But... All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. Kind of selfish she was that, disappointed, but... but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. There's so much feels in the things they say. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Yeah, it is. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. Hmm. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Yes, it's kind of weird. So Rachel's still missing. We don't know what happened to Kate. Because we haven't seen anything about her yet. Well, obviously, we haven't seen anything about anybody. But, like... Max is a completely different person, so like one simple thing changed a lot, and yet Rachel Amber still went missing. Hmm. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? 
It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. <laughs> totally but is. All I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Such a Evil. random conversation. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Pan Estates? What's the Pan Estates? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These yes. bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? <laughs> no? Oh. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Alrighty. These bills should all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. <laughs> oh, you're funny. I like him. I'm glad we saved his life. Oh, we kind of screwed Chloe, but, you know. Why can't we look at these pictures? They're totally different than the ones that were up there before. What's in here now? Can we go in there? No? No? What's over here? Anything? Woo! Yep. Flyers. Look at the flyers. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Aw. So they have to sell stuff. Look. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Wow. Okay. Happy credit card services. <laughs> Uh, that's ironic. Okay. Your joint account has been closed and is now six months overdue. Please send a check or money order for $3,458 payable to Happy Credit Card. Uh, dear Mrs. Price, due to recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe's physical rehab. We can reinstate Chloe at a standard rate of twelve fifty dollars per week. Oh my god, that's a lot of money a week. Christ! I don't even pay that much in rent, damn it. This is ridiculous. Can we go upstairs? Use left mouse button to go upstairs. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, I forgot. Oh, when we have to rewind, I'm going to be screwed because I don't remember how to do that. I think it was like shift or something, I don't remember. So let's walk around. Can't look in there. Mm -mm -mm, bathroom. Switch on. We'll make sure we turn it off, though. We don't want to rack up their bills. Look at the mirror. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. She's not a day tripper. She's a time tripper. Search. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Open. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Drawers. Search in the drawers. Search Nothing in the drawers. Here. Cabinet. It's Obviously cool that we're Chloe uses natural medicine too. We're supposed to just be looking for the uh Can we take a shower? We need to take a shower. We've been sleeping on the floor. We like passed out, like switch off. We wanna be kind. We haven't seen Joyce since we got to this world. We just Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. We should have knocked. That was rude of us. We just like walked in like we belong here. Look at them. Aww. They have no idea what's in their future. You don't really either anymore. This isn't like this is the past or something. You totally I love how we just search drawers with people sitting William right there. He's trying so hard. He's still awesome. He was always awesome. He really is. Super Dad magazine. Look. What's this? Picture? That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Who? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over here. Can we poke in the closet? It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. I like how they say random things when oh, you're walking no. around. It's creepy. 
I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any kind, any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you'd like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Um, that's not good. Oh, uh, that's kind of uh, traumatic. Because you just kind of wonder, like, they could have left that out, you know? Like, oh, hey, hey, she's in a wheelchair, she's got spinal bro, like, you know, broke her spine and everything. But putting all this in there, like, her respiratory system is failing, like, that's... That's not good. That's, like, kind of showing just how bad she is and that, that she... There's a possibility she could die. And, like, everything that Max did to save her, you know, in a way was for nothing if you Joyce went back. Joyce is already a super mom. So, Dr. Bill, super mom, and Dr. Bill, super dad. They have super mom and super dad books. Smoking again, Joyce. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. She read a Victoria's Secret catalog. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. <sighs> it's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. It would have been funnier if we walked in and she said that we were like, no, nah, let's just leave. Let's not even talk to her. Okay, peace out, Joyce. We just want to poke through your shit. <laughs> like, Is William still the same? After everything that's happened. For better and for worse. But always for the better. I I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Yeah. <laughs> she's just like she's like, well, I mean, technically, actually, after he did die the first time you married some other douche, but just saying, like How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Gets harder. Uh... So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. Was she like telling I don't blame Max to? Like, Except fuck off. Like, now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. And meanwhile, she's all partying with Nathan, and they're probably dating for all she knows. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious you always were nice to see that everything doesn't change hmm chloe i wish i was a better friend i know chloe doesn't get many visitors oh max you're chloe's best friend for a reason you're here exactly when she needs you i hope so you guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. Ooh, hi, Bird. Sneaking Nate up can on only me. do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Mm. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Mm. 
Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. Aww. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. That's so sad. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Aww. Yeah, she's basically like, you know what I'm saying? She gonna die. <laughs> Traumatizing. Nothing down there. Is there, is there anything over in these shelves? Oh, look, we can look out the window. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Nothing that we can poke into? Oh, we can look at this. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Arcadia Bay's like, you people live in me. Yeah, you go poke around. Look at Chloe's door. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Aww. Sad and lonely is her room. Oh, it's like a cutscene. Oh, no. Okay, now we can move. Poster? A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Nope. Closet. Oh my god, it's Rachel Amber! We never kidding. had to hide from step douche. Well, that's because Chloe couldn't get up here, Max. I guess we stopped growing up together. Oh. Well, hold on. Ear itch. On my ear, where my mic is. Spool table. Sit. And reminisce. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. Yeah, I don't like this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. You could just go back and undo what you did. And I see that they're a family again. And who am I to judge? Okay, that's all she's gonna say, so. I mean, that's terrible, but... I never heard much about William's brother. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Hmm. Well, where was he in the other reality? Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Oh. I feel bad for the shoes never being worn again. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Why can't we? Come on. Come on, game. That's just lame. Oh, I already looked at the letter. Uh. Aw. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Could probably sell those. Make some money. Ugh. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe, Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Aunt Dorothy. Hmm. I guess that's really all there is here. Can we, like, look out the window? No. No. Okay. It's ready to look. I kind of want to open that box of toys. She's like, I want to open this and see what's inside. Let's do it! Bird, what are you doing? Um, okay, so we've done everything up here, so I guess we'll go back and, uh, go downstairs. Woo! Bird just smacked me in the neck with his tail. Tickly. 
Alright, so we'll probably go a little bit long here, guys, because, uh... Can't look at that stuff. The birdie. Ooh, wonderful. Don't know- Ah! God, my bird keeps touching me with his tail. Okay, so we've already done and seen everything out here, so... Pretty poked around. We'll get back in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Morphine. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Mm. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Aww. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. That's not. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Everything is the same. What did she say over there? Photo album? Snow dome, drawer, teddy bear. Doop, doop, doop. She said somewhere. Or she said, oh, photo album. Done. Look at it. So Chloe has her own photo album. <gasps> no way. Lots of people do. Okie dokie. Let's go back. And everything else is still the same. Chloe, photo album. Birds, stop throwing stuff on me. <sighs> is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Oh, turn page. Oh, that's cute. We get to interact. It's not just watching. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Aww. There's still time for you. Turn page. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. And that was, I wish it was probably the me too picture. This photo. Maybe I could. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. Oh. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? we are not what are saying? giving her too much morphine I'm saying that being oh. with you again <laughs> has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you to be my last memory. Oh snap, she is not asking us to kill her. Yes, I do. Oh my All god. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. What the? What? What? I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all. 
and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. That's so not cool, because you don't want to do want it, but to you- help you, Chloe, but... I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look She's at me. She's always guilt-tripping us. I'm at the mercy of everybody. Damn it, man, Chloe. You can't stop guilting us. I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Oh my god, this is not even... Help me, Max. No, that's so horrible because you know that she's... She's just gonna slowly die painfully and it's horrible and we can't do it. I don't care how much she hates us. We cannot kill Chloe. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. That's the choice. No, no, and no. William, that's I not legally going to fly. goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. Right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. They're going to force us to do this, aren't they? Than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. Why don't you go now? God, she's just... You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. Except for I gotta go to class, but, like... My God, I can't believe what. What are we supposed to do now? What do, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> what are we doing? We can't get up. Space bar. Oh, oh, I was. I'm sorry, William. Oh no, okay. Okay, we're doing this again. So are we trying to like... Trying to like, focus on it. I forget exactly how we're supposed to do this. I kind of forget, like... How the hell did we do this the last time? Like, we did we did something else. It was like... This is, like, not working. This is left mouse button to focus on the photo. But it's not getting any clearer. That's as clear as it gets. There we go. I'm like, it was, it was clear. Why did it change? Dude. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. Oh, I hope the flash didn't scare you, That was a cutscene. So we did it. And we're going back in time. So now we're probably going to end up killing William again. And that's depressingly sad. Um, so we went into the past. We changed everything and now we're going back and changing everything again so this is going to be interesting to see what happens but uh we are going way long on time this time um because it took us 
forever poking around. So I will see you guys next time. And we will see what happens and what comes out of the alternate alternate future. Because is it going to be the same one that we were already in? Or is it a different one? So are we creating a third one now? I don't know. But um, uh, we will find out next time. So I will see you guys. Remember, give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.